Hey, what's up everybody? My name is Trophy Nut, the Babbling Belgian, and welcome back to Bioshock Infinite. We're still in lovely Colombia, of course, uh, right next to the Hall of Heroes, where we need to uh, find Cornelius Slate and uh, see uh, if he can provide us with a bit of shock jockey. Wow! Well, that is something I never noticed before. That is, um, vulgar. They turned Colombia into a whore. Um, Hall of Whores, yeah. For some reason, I never noticed the defilement of the statue over there, which is interesting. Uh, there's a lot of crows here, which might... Okay. Is that a sniper? Oh, sniper rifle. There we go. Found ammo. And I got the sniper. Found where your old friend Slade is. Just find that shock jock and get the hell out of here. Find that jock, shock jockey and get the hell out of here. So that's still our main objective. We need shock jockey to get the uh, aerodrome activated so we can get to the uh, first lady airship right above there. Look how high that is. But we still need to get there. So, boxophone from uh, Cornelius Slate himself. Veterans! You shed your heart's blood for Colombia. Lost limb and viscera in the godless Orient. Come stuck! Did nothing! And yet, look up! Whose image squats above you even now? At every angle and insult! If the prophet would make a painted whore of our past, what fresh rape does our future hold? Let us now make our stand and fill yonder hall with true heroes! Dem oh, hi. There we go. So, uh, Cornelius Slate has gathered a few men to help him out. And, uh, well, what the hell is that noise? Jesus. We're in uh, combat, so most of these guys are probably part of Cornelius' uh, little army. I can't find anything. There we go. Don't worry, Elizabeth. We got this. We got this. Just need to get my aim on. Ammo! Catch! Thank you. So there we go, she also provides ammo sometimes. There we go. Controlled shots, controlled shots. The shield is helping out a lot as well. Big game hunter, so we're already at 30 kills with the carbine. Um, there's a few. Uh, one more. Over there, there we go. So you heard them yelling already, a soldier's death. They don't want to go uh, go down in Colombia without the glory, so they want us to kill them. Easy as that. So uh, yeah, Hall of Horse, Colombia is now depicted as a whore, which is not so nice of them. But uh, yeah, so uh, Hall of Heroes, part of the soldier's field, um, well, amusement park, kind of. And that it uh, depicts the, uh, well, we're gonna see inside the uh, previous accomplishments of Comstock or what he uh, claims to be his, uh, well, previous accomplishments. Coins in the cushion, there we go, another trophy. I think that's about 200 times we opened a, a container. Okay, let's see if there's anything here. No, it's just a dollar bill machine. Um, is Canadian Slate already told us that as well? That uh, and we heard him saying that in a second ago as well. That um, Comstock claims to have been in a lot of wars, but Cornelius Slate doesn't remember him being in any of those wars. So that's weird because I mean, why would Cornelius Slate lie about that? He doesn't really have a reason to, no, does he? So, uh, without further ado, let's uh, go inside because I don't think I can get the sniper rifle just yet. No, I don't think I can. Uh, there is a kinetoscope over here, apparently. So let's watch that. Who needs the power company? Let's so maybe give us a bit more information about Shock Jockey. Does your life need a jolt? Seems like it does. Try Fink MFG's Shock Jockey. And there it goes. So it kind of looks like a, a blue crystal. Thanks, Mr. Fink. Because now the carousel is going. And the end. 
14 out of 37. We are going uh, strong on that front. I'm hoping I didn't miss any just yet. But uh, yeah, um, anything here. That's a machine gun. Rations. Don't really need that because I don't didn't lose a uh, hell. So let's get let's go inside of the hall of heroes. Too rare is the man who takes a stand for God and sweetest fatherland. But here's the place where we revere the heroes of our city dear. And there we go. This is the place we where we revere the heroes of our city dear. Uh, let's check out this guy. Um, another thing to note is that, of course, Slate and Booker know each other from uh, a few of those wars. Uh, since, well, yeah, they uh, both were soldiers. Um, and it looks like this place has been uh, pretty much wrecked already by uh, Slate and his men. I think, yeah, I'm gonna have to be careful here. Because, of course, now we're in the lion's den. Just gonna check out these ones. Still only pros trap. Aid. So let's go to the armory because that might have a few new things since we uh, well we found a few new weapons since the last time we got one. Um, hmm. Maybe the accuracy boost on the machine gun might make it a bit more handy than it is right now. Let's go with that. Accuracy boost. There we go. Let's open up the door here. I don't think there's anybody here just yet. We do have another voxophone from Cornelius Slate. Call us assassins when our work is done. Cornelius Slate, the swift left hook of the Vox Populi. <laughs> we'll be trading Comstock's life for a new one. So be it. The Fitzroy woman and I are comrades of necessity. I doubt all the men who read in Caesar's toga would still be seen breaking bread together in peacetime. Comstock gone. My men's past deeds will be sacred. And they will claim the spoils to them. I need not live to see it. So there we go. I may not live to see it. Because he, uh, he thinks he's going to die. But most importantly, he's been working with Daisy Fitzroy to get things going. Because of course they have a common enemy. And that's all there Our is to say about Father that. Comstock, commander of the 7th Cavalry. That man did not lead the seventh. Hell, I don't even remember the guy. Corporal DeWitt proved his worth on the field that day. Well, I'll be. Slate? Is that you? You've always been different, haven't you, Booker? You crave no glory. Look, I see you're caught up in some kind of jam here. If you could see fit to let us through to where they keep the shock jockey, then we'll- That tin soldier, Comstock, wants my boys dead. We won't die at his hands. There's going to be trouble. Yeah, because uh, Comstock, uh, they don't want to die at Comstock's hands, so they want to die at uh, my hands. I'm sorry, guys. I knew you were coming from that way. Don't think that's entirely fair, but... There we go. I think that's pretty much it. Unless they come storming through the front door. Just give us the shock jockey. If you want the vigor, Booker, you will give my men a soldier's death. They wait for you with wounded knee in Peking. And wounded knee in Peking. How are we gonna get there? Because that's of course one of the battles that Booker has fought in as well. Uh, alongside Slate. So they have quite a bit of history. Um, and since they don't believe that Comstock was in any of those uh, battles, they uh, also don't want to die at the hand of Comstock, but rather want to die at the hands of us. It's a very, very twisted uh, idea to have, just to uh, let yourself be killed by a, a random, uh, well, not a random for them, but um, yeah, some other guy, just because it's someone who has been fighting in wars. So there's another infusion over here, let's pick that up. And let's go for another health infusion. There's also a silver a bar here, already. which gives us about a hundred coins and another lockpick, which is always handy. Let's pick all that up. This is sort of the storage area for the Hall of Heroes. I don't think anything here. No. So they keep the uh, broken statues here. And yeah, 
they uh, they marked a lot of these guys as tin soldiers because tin soldiers don't fight wars, men do. So he believes that uh, Comstock is one of those tin soldiers he's been calling. I'll try to keep you stocked with both bandages and ammo, but the right materials aren't always at hand. So yeah, thank you, uh, Elizabeth. And this is interesting. So the Hall of Heroes depicts two battles that um, Comstock worked uh, well fought in. And then the middle one goes to a memorial of the First Lady, which is interesting. But in the middle here, there's also something very interesting. So this is a, a sort of a timeline. So Comstock the Prophet is born in 1874. Then 16 years later, Comstock leads the charge and wins the day for the United States. His actions earn him the title Hero of Wounded Knee at the Battle of Wounded Knee. We know that Booker also fought at that battle, uh, so we might actually know the man. Then three years later, Columbia sent around the world on a goodwill tour, because the city of Columbia is launched. Which means that five years before the Battle of Wounded Knee, Columbia was already under construction, because we know it took eight years to build Columbia. Then, at the same year, the Lamb is born into the Prophet. A foul band of anarchists, uh, two years later, are found to be guilty of murdering Our Lady and a new battle begins on the home front. So, two, two years after uh, Elizabeth is born, her mother is uh, cruelly murdered. Well, we don't know by whom yet, but since we know that uh, Daisy Fitzroy was in the employ of Lady Comstock, we might as well assume that it might have been her. Uh, the Boxer Rebellion incident, Columbia secedes from the United States, so that's six, year, uh, six years after the uh, murder of Lady Comstock and uh, 11 years ago. So Comstock retaliates against the murder of Americans in the Boxer Rebellion, Columbia raises Peking to the ground and declares secession from the US. And there we go, that's the history of Columbia as uh, this well, the board states it. Um, pick up a bit more money, it's starting to get uh, more interesting to do this. Because the payout, uh, payouts are getting bigger. Um, anything else? Nope, still the same inventory, which is fine by me. Let's search all these guys, and I think for now, might actually leave the RPG here and go for the shotgun again. Yeah, there's plenty of ammo where that came from, so... There we go. What the f Jesus Christ. So let's go to the Boxer Rebellion first, since we know that um, Slate is waiting at the Battle of Wounded Knee. Or you know what? We're gonna do both anyway. Let's start at the one uh, Slate wants us to go. The Tin Soldier is taking credit for the deeds of the real ones. Now your companion, young lady, he wrapped himself in glory on December 29. 1890. So there we go. You don't want to know. So uh, the battle at Wounded Knee was a battle against the Native Americans, and uh, yeah, it's depicted as though the Native Americans were slaughtering the uh, new, well, the eventual Americans. But uh, yeah, we kind of know that it was probably the other way around in terms of uh, better weaponry and all that. Hello, sir. Sorry for that shotgun to the face. New boots, fit as a fiddle when revived, recover full health. Um, instead of fleet feet, I'm not gonna do that. Just I'm just gonna take it, there we go. And take another RPG here. I'm not gonna do that, but there is a deposit box with just a pineapple in it. That is weird. That is weird. And look at this. They um, also made a statue of a soldier Oh, well, not a soldier, a Native American scalping a dude. Ooh. I don't think that's gonna be a children's attraction then. Uh, is there anything else? Just lunchbox. Okay, that was a weird noise. Hello. I'm gonna have to be careful because I know occasionally people will start to wander in here when uh, we go into side rooms like these. The hero of Wounded Knee. With hue and cry, with hatchet red, they danced amongst our noble dead. But when our soldiers took the field, the savage horde could only yield. Because of course, uh, the uh, the English soldiers at that point had uh, lo a lot, well, much better weapons than the uh, Native Americans. You, you were there. 
That wounded knee. I can see it in your face. Tell her, Booker! Tell her how we strode that battlefield like the heroes of Sparta. I still hear the screams. Let's come, stop. Remember what we fight for! Here's the soldier I spoke of! The kind of man who comes to pretend to me! See if I told you true! He can't lose while you are losing, holy shit. Is there one here? No. Jesus. Let's go for Bucking Bronco. Pro, seriously? You Sold see him to the face. face. You see the man that Comstock wishes he was? A real I soldier. I don't want to do this, Slade. Just give me what I need. I will. After you do the same for me. Come and look for me amongst the boxers. Who are the boxers? The Chinese. He means us to head to the other display. Can you hear Comstock's tin soldiers coming to silence us? But we are the true patriots. The history that does not fit in their books. Um, do we need anything else? I think I'm full health because of that other health pack I got from the crow. So that's pretty much it. So yeah, Slate continuing his rampage about uh, us being a, a, a well, a more uh, virtuous soldier than Comstock is. Um, and yeah, we're still murdering his soldiers. Now, let's be careful here because I think. Some of them might have entered the display already. Or not. Or not. Uh, in that fight you also saw the effectiveness of uh, Bucking Bronco. Because it is very, very handy in a fight like that. Where you can uh, pick up uh, soldiers. They're also a lot weaker to shots. Because even body shots kill them in one hit if they're uh, up in the air with Bucking Bronco. Which is of course handy for us. Uh, actually... Hesitating whether I should swap back to the machine gun for a second because we are getting a lot of ammo from uh, these guys this? This long... rebellion. Okay. What happened there? In Peking, it was my hand that put the city to the torch Of course, that's not how Comstock tells it So again uh, another battle that uh, Comstock takes credit for and this time it's uh, Slate that took the glory for himself well, it's supposed to take the glory for himself. Um, but we need to go over there. But uh, let's go into the employees only section first. There was a soldier in the previous one, but I don't think... Yeah, there's no one here. Uh, there's another carbine, but we just swapped, so no biggie. And then gear. New hat storm. Killing with Devil's Kiss Shock Jockey on Bucking Bronco causes effects to chain to nearby enemies. Which is... An amazing upgrade. Um, it's by far one of the better pieces of gear in the game. Um, and yeah, for that same reason I'm gonna equip it, obviously. Uh, we haven't found any voxophones lately, which is starting to make me worry that I missed some... Jesus Christ! Yeah, I forgot about that guy. Completely forgot about that guy. Wow, that kind of spooked my ass. Ah, uh, stop screaming. So here we go, another display. It was yellow skin and slanted eyes that did betray us with their lies until they crossed the righteous path of our prophet's holy wrath. So the Chinese rebelled and they led to a war and Colombia quickly uh, struck down the Chinese because, yeah, they couldn't uh, handle the uh, aerial superiority that Colombia had. So here we go again, another uh, big open display. Oh, I read about this. Comstock led the Colombian troops to Peking. Comstock wasn't there! The boxers took my eye and 30 of my friends! Is there even a stone to mark that sacrifice? 
I think I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have to be careful here. I took control of one soldier. Let's start with. Uh, ooh, there's a sniper rifle here. There we go. Bucking Bronco. Put him in the air. On a clear day, there we go. That was it. You did them a favor, Booker. Okay. You let them die like men. I didn't ask for this. I have no quarrel with these men. Heroes never ask. I never claim to be no hero. Then what are you? If you take away all the parts of Booker DeWitt you tried to erase, what's left? Indeed. Come back to the rotunda. It's almost over. If you take away all that makes us Booker DeWitt, what is left? Indeed. That's a very interesting mean? question. Why did you try to erase? Now that you're out of yours, you might realize cages have their advantages. A choice is better than none, Mr. DeWitt. No matter what the outcome. Yeah. What if you woke up one day and realized you didn't like what you chose? A choice is better than none. Whatever the outcome may be. That's a very interesting statement, especially for this game. What did you didn't what if you didn't like what you chose? All very interesting statements. Especially if you uh, know the rest of this game. But uh, I'm not gonna I'm just teasing you guys. I'm just teasing you guys. Another look pick behind this uh, display here. And I think I can actually just... Yeah, lift them both up. And then if I use uh, Devil's Kiss... Oh, okay. There we go. I've got what you need, Booker. You will find me past the First Lady's memorial. Just gonna pick up the carbine again, because I like that more. Hello? Forgot about this little ambush. Is there somebody else here? No. Okay. Was just uh, Elizabeth panicking. Um, don't think there is much in those corpses. That woman had an eye for fashion. Indeed, she did. Because she has quite a lovely dress. You've seen what Comstock has done to my history. Because uh, this part of the Hall of Heroes is dedicated to Lady Comstock. As you can see, there's a, a, Columbia, a Lady Columbia statue that is weeping. And we kind of know already why that might be. Because, of course, Lady Comstock was murdered. Let's see how Comstock has rewritten his own history. Part 1. The seed of the prophet lay in the womb of Our Lady but for a single week. Comstock had a child. My books never mention anything about a child. That's quite an omission. Can't imagine that was by accident. So, Elizabeth doesn't realize this yet. Took ill, and Our Lady prayed for the prophet's heir day and night. Elizabeth doesn't realize it yet, of course, but we already uh, can easily deduct that from the fact that the lamb was in the tower and Elizabeth was the only one in the tower. So obviously Elizabeth is the daughter of Comstock and Lady Comstock. But the interesting part of this display is that, well, Lady Comstock was only in labor for a single week. So, well, not in labor, she was pregnant for a single week before Elizabeth was born. That doesn't seem right, even in this uh, city, where there are a lot of miracles, but that doesn't seem right for this uh, city as well. But next, the seed of the prophet the Prophet took his seed to a place of refuge. Lo, while Daisy Fitzroy has murdered my beloved, she shall not have the child. She shall not come betwixt her and prophecy. The seed of the Prophet shall sit the throne and drown in flame the mountains of man. Your Comstock's daughter. No, I can't be. I, I can't. He wants you to follow in his footsteps. Well, I want a puppy, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna get one. 
Yeah, indeed, Elizabeth. I want a puppy, but that doesn't mean I'm gonna get one. So after that also confirms that Daisy Fitzroy killed uh, Lady Comstock. After she was murdered, Comstock decided to put his child in the care of Monument Island and Songbird. So uh, the anarchists, the Vox Populi, couldn't reach uh, Elizabeth as well as they did with Lady Comstock. But still, a week, that is, that is kind of weird. Uh, let's open up this uh, lock pick. So there's uh, different kinds of locks as well. Hairpin locks are locks, Locked. but she can, uh, Elizabeth can open up the lock with just her hairpin. It doesn't need a lock pick for those. So we're not gonna lose a lock pick on that lock. Let's continue on. The cruel murder of our dear lady Comstock by the anarchist Daisy Fitzroy. So uh, there we have the murder of our lady, the next part in the history. Kind of out of order since we just saw Comstock stating that uh, she was murdered already. But yeah, let's listen to another voxophone from uh, Lady Comstock herself. To those who loved me, I was the most generous of souls. There was no pain I would deny them. No betrayal I would not gladly give. And when I had scorched the hearts of all who loved me, the prophet said... There is nothing you can do for which I will not forgive you. For God has granted me sight, and through his eyes, even you are loved. So there we go. Uh, sounds like Comstock loved his wife, as far as we know. Um, but yeah, that's the murder of Lady Comstock. Um, not much else here, so let's keep going, because this place is rather big. And then... Comstock's vengeance. The prophet bearer of the sword brought his wrath down upon Daisy Fitzroy and the Vox Populi. He pursues them relentlessly to this day. Um, we haven't seen the Vox Populi just yet, but the red cloaks are already an indication of what their attire will look like. Um, but this is it. That's the end of the display for now, and still no Cornelius Slate. Uh, not in a trash can either. So let's keep going. Because there is another door at the end of this. But now we're back outside. Now then, a closed gate. I can get through these bars, but you're too broad. Are you saying my ass is fat? Let me scout ahead, see if there's some way to move forward. Um, well then. <laughs> there we go. Is that? It's a tear, something I can bring into this world. It's a freight hook. Well, that's convenient. As I said, it's a form of wish fulfillment. Okay then, so now this uh, indicates the start of uh, a new uh, right. ability we're gonna have. Let me know if you want me to bring that freight hook in. We can uh, order Elizabeth to uh, bring something into this world, which is an interesting use of her powers. From. Whenever I'd get anxious, tears have a way of appearing. Because before now, we could use, well, she used tears to just open up a gate to another dimension. See those tears? We can use them against Slate's men. But now she's That's bringing things from another room. dimension into our and world. That one will give us a turret. And some cover. So let's go with the turret Try first. That one. Turret now! There we go. We have the high ground here, so it shouldn't take too long. I haven't found anything yet. Well, we can actually swap those things out, so... Uh... There we go. Uh, let's swap back to Bucking Bronco. Found ammo. Take this. Nice. Herbs okay. There he goes. I think there's still one more left. Enough, Slate. 
We just need the vigor to get out of Columbia. We're taking it one way or another. Slate! So there we go. Do you know what you've got there, Booker? Well, we kind of know, because she's uh, a really, really great asset to have. Um, but he might be hinting at something else as well. Well, we know already that it's the daughter of... Uh, this can pull a bill. We could pull that in, but yeah. Uh, we already know it's the daughter of Comstock, so that's a great asset nonetheless. Because, uh, well... We might be able to use her against Comstock as well. Uh, medical kits in the middle there. Keep your eye open for that shock jockey figure. So let's activate both of these again. I'm out of, uh, well, salts almost then, but i would actually be able to use the stuff Found in some here. Money. Want it? Yeah, always want it. Thank you very much. Thanks. That again was 20 coins. Possession for less decreases the salts necessary to use possession. Something I really want to have, but we're not going to be able to use that just yet. And then the lamb is the future of the city. Did we already check that? Did we already check that? No, we didn't. Okay, let's check that out then. The seed of the prophet watches over us from Monument Island. Well, not anymore. When will she emerge? Well, she has. Only the great prophet knows with certainty. I don't know if he knew about that. The end. There we go. And there's the other one. Behold the miracle child, a prophecy is fulfilled. So there we have, after only seven days in Lady Comstock's womb, the miracle child is born. Again, really, really weird. Lady Comstock is a fitting mother to this miracle. And Comstock is a great father, I suppose. The future of our great endeavor lies in her little hands. The end. Thank you very much. So, 16 out of 37. We're getting there. We're really, really getting there. Um, Looks like we're at Shock Jockey. To the sky, Comstock bent his knee and saw with holy prophecy. And too rare is the man who takes a stab in you and sweetest fatherland. So every one of the motorized patriots it's going haywire. Tin men, Booker. That's what Comstock will turn us into. Why is it gears to replace heads and hearts? Let's activate the gun dirt. Because this thing is breaking out. Because there we have our first motorized patriot. Gonna have to be careful here. Aim for his gears. I think for now it won't be necessary to aim for the gears. Because yeah, he's already down. You see, Booker, maybe you're the man I remember. Maybe not. It doesn't matter. Comstock took our stories and scrubbed away our souls! Now, he's coming for me. And when I'm gone, all that will be left is the lie. And when I'm gone, all that will be left for. is the lie. So, uh, Shock Jockey isn't here, because, uh, yeah, it's, um... Probably still under control of Slate. Life. Maybe Looks inside of this maintenance area? Because uh, nothing in the... Uh, usually it would be here, because this is the souvenir shop. So from uh, both the Boxer Rebellion and the Battle of Wounded Knee. And then over there should be Shock Jockey. But the drawers are empty. Which is, of course, sad for us. Um, but let's see if that maintenance area holds anything. Because there are purple footsteps going inside of this place. Hello? A lot of money, but as you can see... The shock jockey supplies have been completely the whole raided. The place is ransacked. There ain't no shock jockey here. Slate must have taken them. Look. And there we have more footsteps. Uh, but I'm gonna request really? this to open. That little old lock. Well, it requires five lock picks, Elizabeth. Don't need to be so Done. cocky about that. So let's search okay. the safe, and we have again two eighty-two. Silver Eagles, which is always handy. Um, want to hold on to this? Yeah, of course I want to. Thank you very That'll much. Do. That was not that much, actually. That was like nothing at all. Um, 
There we have Shock Jockey Traps. Slate. He's here. Um, Subdue Slate. Well, no worry, I guess. The Slate is drugged up on uh, Shock Jockey because you raided the entire place. And now it's up to us to try and uh, take him down. Let's pick up the RPG for now. What is that? Tom Stodge ships. He's coming for Slate. It was Slate who killed for his country at Wounded Knee! It was Slate who stormed the gates of Peking! Slate! So there we Slate. have Slate. Comstock's coming, Booker. But our lives won't satisfy him. Oh, no. He won't rest until he's turned us into tin. I won't let him. He took my past. But that's all he's getting from me. Just give us the vigor. We don't need to do this. Here you go, boys! A soldier's death awaits! And here we go again. I think I'm gonna have to put down some traps here. Okay, completely missed those guys. Just gonna have to be careful here because these guys are further away than I I would like. They're just gonna keep standing there because yeah, they're gonna die if they keep standing there. Okay then, keep firing bazookas. Thank you very much. I think that was ammo yeah, for the bazooka. Yeah. Red eye, remember? Tin man! Tin man! Open it! There you go. There we go, more shotgun ammo. Okay. Boom, bitch! Have your weapons, have your weapons, have your weapons. I have the feeling that this is working less on this guy. And there we go, there he goes. Another lockpick, because usually these guys now will start the uh, spawning lockpicks. Come on now, DeWitt! Don't disappoint the boys! Don't disappoint the boys, you're gonna activate that door over there. We hold these truths to be self-evident. Wait, where the hell is that coming from? Sounds like it's coming from up there. Mercy belongs to the Lord. Come on, reload, 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 reload. There we go. Whew. Come on, DeWitt! Show me what you're made of! Seriously gonna do this? So if anybody comes from over there, they're gonna get uh, launched into the air. Or is that just our way forward? It might be just our way forward for now. Just gonna pick up everything, loot the place a bit. And I think there's another Voxophone in here as well. Yeah, there we go. Let's listen to that. My men and I are doomed. Doomed as noble Custer was at Little Bighorn. But we shall not yield to Comstock and his tin soldiers. But my scout has seen him. Booker DeWitt is coming here to the hall. DeWitt. We called him the White Engine of Wounded Knee for all the grisly trophies he claimed. A man such as he might just grant us the peace we seek. A man such as he just might just grant us the peace we need. Uh, there's another confusion hidden in this box over here. Let's boost our shields Perfect. a bit more. And then uh, we should probably leave the area over there. Uh, not much else here, I suppose. A few, a bit more loot, but yeah. Sad about that trap. I would have liked to see somebody get launched into the air again. Because I really, as I said it before, I really like Bucking Bronco. 
Um, but before we continue on and try to confront Slate, I'm going to take a little break. So thank you guys enormously for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, don't forget to like it right here on YouTube. And when we get back, we're going to try and take down Slate and get Shock Jockey. So uh, thanks again enormously for watching and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.